We're trying to research to find bass all over the world. We're going to Mexico for largemouth. The trip that we're doing now, it's to Nicaragua. This time we're flying to Papua New Guinea. This trip to Colombia. Going to Africa, looking for bass. We've heard about it all of our lives. It's time, we're here, we're going. Yeah, bass, what's up? <laughs> this is gonna be one of the craziest trips that we've been on. I want a big ass fish and I want it right now. First cast, whoop, 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 wham. They have that much power in their face and in their jaws that they just destroy no. Rods. No. Blown up. <laughs> Madness. Do not come to Papua New Guinea with your small gear. We're getting our ass kicked. We're learning a lot. Totally foreign. It's completely different than what I'm used to. Ooh, <laughs> oh, that was baby. a big fish, man. That was a big one, huh? And huge boy. Busted, busted a fish off on 40 pounds. Like, how big can the fish really be? This is 40 pound, dude. <laughs> that just makes me think I'm going to 60. <laughs> Damn crazy, man. That thing's nasty. How many points for cemetery bass? 15. We don't really know what we're doing. I'm going into the jungles of Papua New Guinea for 10 days, and I don't have shoes. Yeah, I can't even keep up. What is safe in the jungle? When you're out in the middle of the jungle, you really have to look around before you reach out and grab something, because something might reach out and grab you back. Because everything wants to kill you. But then when you get pelted by monkey dung on the side of your face, it kind of takes it to another level. He pulled a knife out of his jeans. So we just got totally hijacked. We got robbed. And we hear gunshots. Go, 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 go. We're going to hit the road. We got everything in the truck. I like this kind of stuff. This kind of stuff is damn adventure. Last time you tried to navigate across water, we got stuck for what, five days? Yeah. And the roads are not going to be easy. Maybe the worst roads we have ever seen. That's not the road. Well, we managed to get about halfway down into Baja to find out that our pump totally stopped working. Seems like the whole continent's made of sand. We can go 100 yards, that's it. And then we're stuck again. A long journey ahead of us. Massive potholes, wild animals, domesticated animals. If you're not swerving for potholes, you're swerving for donkeys. Donkeys are everywhere. Donkeys, you want to hit a donkey? Come on down to Africa. Excuse me, you know where any bass are around here? Well, not ass, bass. We're going to Mexico for largemouth. We're going after this fish called a rainbow bass. PNG black bass. Golden bass of Southern Africa. I'd like to call it the uh, saber-toothed striped bass. <laughs> First group, best group ever. No one's been up this way. See yourself lucky. That's, that's super cool. This is our first sight of the lagoon. Nobody has seen this yet before. Knock them dead, boys. Take no prisoners. Fingers crossed. Feel it. Something good's going to happen today. This is a good hole right here. Look at this. We are in the middle of nowhere, Botswana. We're on a lake that's never been fished by Americans. And that just made my morning. <laughs> it's now or never. Last chance, summer dance. Africa style. Wrote a rap about it. Goes like this. Uh, no, I didn't write a rap about it. <laughs> Whoa. Sounds like someone's dropping pumpkins in the water. That was a nice it's one. A massive explosion go off. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's coming at it. There's three. Oh, crush it. The fish are waking up finally. Woo! Yes! Woo! Woo! <laughs> that feels real good. Dude, they just slam it. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely hammered that fly, man. Kitchen bass on the edge of the Kalahari Desert. That fight was intense. Oh. Yeah! Oh, dude, he crushed yeah. it! Yeah. <laughs> Out fishing with the drug cartel. If it doesn't seem like good times, better check your pulse. So now we're at season two in the famed Amazon River Basin. Because we're gonna go right after that peacock bass. The last time we went after peacock bass was in Colombia. It was 
an absolutely crazy adventure. I did really well in Colombia. Caught some really big peacocks. Now, we're back. We got the A-team here, except for Brian. Oops. Yeah, Brian did not fare so well. It seems like I can't hook and land these big ones. All I know is if it doesn't go down on this trip, then it's never gonna go down. I just want one big fish. That'll do. It's payback time. So on this trip, we're coming in to take some big fish out of the Amazon. for me to live. This is the moment. Four wheel drive, mud, chainsaws, shotgun, fishing. I'm ready to rock. Chris Owen, he's lost. Kind of a weird scenario. When I have my life in his hands, I'm scared. Out fishing with the drug cartel. Bad. A guy that can really cut loose sometimes. Why are you also really worry about what's going down. I'm a little apprehensive. I'm a little nervous. I don't care what we do as long as I make it back in one piece. Brian. He's a researching machine, okay? He's got all the latest GPS, satellite, map technology. Yeah, that guy is Jerry rigged so much stuff. We're not gonna pretend to be pro bass fishermen. We actually really don't know what we're doing half the time, but we're doing it anyway. That's what we're here to do. We're here to explore and to try to find these bass. That's what I'm talking about. We've learned insurmountable things that would have taken lifetimes to learn in season one, but there's still so much more to learn. Get into the bass's mind a bit more. What makes them tick? What makes them want to eat? What makes them not want to eat? You got to think like that species. I think peacock bass are among some of the coolest fish out there. Where you find them and how angry they get when you hook them makes for a pretty awesome fight. We're here, we landed, we survived. 100% different world out here. Uh, we're going down to the uh, marina, meet up with Captain Raul. We end up getting this email from this guy. He's just got a little boat and he caters to the smaller group. Thank yeah, you. I mean, some of the photos that we saw on his Facebook page, he's getting into some big fish. I'm kind of excited about this. Instead of doing everything wrong, maybe we'll start doing things right. Our bags are packed, we're ready to go. We just gotta go find this guy. This isn't it. We gotta keep looking. Let's go, let's go farther on down that way. We'll find it. This is not it, this is not it. The last two people I asked said there's no Captain Raul here. That's, that's the boat, that, that, we that's saw the boat that we saw on his Facebook page, dude. And it's got a yeah. big for sale sign on it. Something's not right. Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, the guy stiffed this. Yeah, I think that for sale sign is uh, telling us something. Something's going on. The boat's for sale. He's not here. He's not answering any phone calls. No one has talked to him in a week. Dude, he took our thousand bucks and went to Rio de Janeiro. That's, that's exactly what happened. We just gotta stop feeling sorry for ourselves and just go research. Remember, Casey's the one that warned us about shady people and high water. Pretty good, hey, good to meet you, Brian. Chris, Chris, good nice to meet you, man. So you've been down there, you've done the peacock thing before? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have? I don't know, I'm kinda eerie about going places like that. <laughs> I wanna go with a big group of people I know, you know what I mean? Yeah. What was the water level when you were there? Was it high or low? It was high. You know, you got the hard line, which is the tree line, and uh -huh. the water was... 50 feet on back up in there. Well, I fire out there and I set the hook it was all the way, strip and drag, and pulls into those mangroves. Yeah. yeah, I guess we didn't realize that you'd been over there. That's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, That'll yeah, help yeah, a lot. I still can't believe this is happening. I'm just gonna FaceTime Casey. Hey, buddy. Hey, man, what's going on? We're in a pickle, dude. Uh, me and the boys, we just flew all the way to Brazil. Long story short, man, do you know any kind of outfitters or anything down here? I don't know nobody in Brazil. The only person that I know of is a guy named Ron Speed. We know Ron. Let's get him on the horn. Now, he works with two different guys down there. He's got a couple of different partners. That's Ron. Hey, Ron, this is Thad. I need some help. We had this guy we were going to go out with, and he stiffed us. Is there any way that you can help us out? Do you have anything going on this week? Well, actually, we do. Uh, you can get here and be ready to go on the charter plane tomorrow by 11 a.m. We will be there. I'll tell the guys they're going to be blown away. Uh, it's not one of our normal scheduled trips. We're going to check out fishing at an area that we haven't fished in probably six or seven years. Oh, my gosh. This is such good news. Thank you so much. Not exactly what we plan on doing, but we're here. We are in the middle of nowhere, Amazon. 
And if it wasn't for Ron Speed having these openings, I still can't believe this is happening. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. He's really yeah. got so many lagoons. I think we're going to be able to access a lot of these things. There's home sweet home right there. That's where we're going to be for the next seven or eight days. We're taking this bad boy deep into the Amazon. I think we're going to like this food. Yeah, I think so. We're going to this remote region that uh, hasn't seen very many people. River is a little bit high. We're just going to do the best that we can. This is where it all begins. We can either make it or break it. But we got a long ways to go. It looks like it's going to be about a day of motoring on to reach our first spot to drop anchor and start this mission. This morning, woke up to one of the greatest rainstorms I've ever seen in my whole life. There's no end in sight. I don't know what we're going to do. The water is extremely high. So when that happens, all the fish, including the big fish, swim way into the jungle. And so the bass are back there, and we can't get to them. We've got to get the spot where we can get these flies cast in to reach these fish. Got them. What you got? What you got? Yeah, oh, it's a butterfly. Oh. Incredible colors. Not the biggest peacocks in the world, but there's some big ones in here. Little tiny guy, but it's a guy. Gotcha. All we're doing is catching little peacocks. I wish I could catch a bigger one, but catching these little ones ain't so bad. A little bit of smallmouth bass fishing. Saddle up, boy. You're going for a swim. <laughs> for the size of these fish, yeah. I think they fight harder. When he's like a pound, this is a 12 weight, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's another baby. It's like growing up on elementary oh. school kids. When you're in high school, kind of feel bad, but it's also kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> How's the bug situation? Destroying me. And let's just get rid of the bugs. We caught nothing but small one, small one, small one, small one. All told, we got about three pounds of fish to the boat. I don't remember having such a tough time. You know, you can't start out each day thinking that it's going to be another tough day. Got to go into this thinking that today is the day. Yeah! There's over 300 different types of fish. Where's the big guy gonna live? They're probably still discovering new types of fish here. You don't really know what you're gonna catch. This is the one fish I don't like catching out here. Look at the teeth on this guy. Let's let him go. <laughs> Sometimes you catch fish that you don't want to catch. Called bycatch. Oh, well, it's a barracuda. Another spotted. Spotted peacock. It's a new species. Oh. Never caught a fish like that before. Yeah! So this is another species called paca. White doubts, back stripes. <laughs> You're diving, dude. <laughs> it stuns them. Puts them straight to sleep. No way. <laughs> Arowana. Good job, B. This is going to be Arowana in the Amazon. Where? What? I caught an Arowana. Oh, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> kidding me? OK, so let me get this right. You brought a bunch of fake insects and reptiles to put inside of Chris's bed. I did, I brought spiders ah. too. <laughs> Owens hates bugs. I just happen to bring some fine specimens to decorate his room with. I can work with you on this one. So Chris is getting ready to walk in right now. Let's see what happens. What's up? Did you see what's on my bed? What the That's the biggest <laughs> bee I've ever seen. Look at that thing! Careful, dude. If I would have moved, how did he get in? Let's get the f off my bed. <laughs> get off my bed! Get off! Oh my god. <laughs> dude. Where do you dude. get realistic creatures like this? <laughs> Who do you think would have that? That's it, Who throws a rubber bee in people's bed? I will get him back. It's morning time. We have to keep spirits up. High water or low water, I don't care at this point. You know, these fish have got to eat. <laughs> the heat and the bugs wouldn't piss me off so bad if we were catching some fish. I'm not sure if this is ever going to happen for me. Every time we go, it's always a struggle. And it's like, this one we really thought was going to be kind of a cakewalk, where it would be nonstop fish. And it's like, it, it doesn't seem like a surprise, but it really is. There was probably one of the biggest fish we've seen. And he breaks me off with 40-pound tests. I hate myself right now. I'm sure there was some nicks in there from all our branch catching. All right, give me one second. If the game was hooking trees, I'd have a lot of records right now. Hey, That's really? actually my biggest one yet. I don't know what we're going to do. We've got to find somewhere that we're going to be able to target these bigger bass. Dude, I just missed a huge fish. Threw my fly in there, man. Got him, got him, got him, got him. 
He slammed it, and I had him on for like three seconds. I'm so bummed out right now, but he's still in there, man. I'm gonna get my revenge. The rain has been murdering us, and it's risen the Amazon River, the whole river. Nothing's gonna work because the fish are so deep in that cover. None of us are gonna come up with the big fish. The only thing I can think of doing, maybe call Casey again, see if he has any advice. Hey, Casey, we're out in the river right now, man. We made it. Good deal. Dude, we're at a complete loss. We got to catch some big fish. We got two days left. Just super high water. You have to go down the river somewhere, you know, where the water's not high. Something super small. Yeah. That's your only shot. All right, man. We have to make a change and do some gambling. It's a big gamble because we found a tributary that hasn't been affected by high water like these other rivers. We're gonna pull anchor and now travel probably 100K through the night to reach this area. You know, after talking with Casey, that's our only option at this point. Uh, we just rolled into a village and we gotta ask permission to fish this river. This tributary that's off of the main river up here, it's, it's kind of owned by the local community, so we're gonna see if we can go back and find some fish back here. Tons of little peacocks and other types of fish. That is getting skinny. There's a nice one. The fish just like parting as we drive through here. We just blazed our own pathway up this small little feeder creek that's dumping out of this huge, deep, dark, black water. All we can do is just throw as many flies as we can, cross our fingers that we find the big bass. I think I've tied up a fly that they just can't resist. <laughs> we went to Columbia in season one. I couldn't get any big fish in to save my life. It's like I was cursed. And it seems like it's followed me into Brazil. Oh, lost him, dude. That fish was gigantic. He was pushing a wake. Ooh. Oh. Did you see the cake on that thing? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah. Jay, your fly works, man. Just found the secret bass hangout. I managed to just get my fly into this little hole. <gasps> We're stepping it up a little bit. Right there. Fish, 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 fish. Oh. The second that the fly hit the water, the fish absolutely inhaled it. It was just a battle through the sticks. We got a grande problema. He got all snagged up. My leader was getting wrapped on branches. He might have came off. No way. No, no, no. He still got him. He still got him. He still got him. He still got him. <laughs> Somehow, some way, we were able to will that fish to the boat. I thought he came off, man. And I'm just like, no. The size of that thing. Oh my God. I can't yeah. believe it actually happened, man. I was starting to have some serious doubts. Yes, thank you. Thank you. The Amazon needed one hero and one hero only. Brian Jill. Damn it. 18 pounds. Yeah. Caught on a fly rod. That was one heck of a battle. Once we got him out in the open, we knew that we were pretty much good to go, but you know, at any second the hook could have popped out and we could have lost 18 pounds of peacock bass. Oh, I've been fighting so hard for that fish. I can't believe that just happened. Man, what a crazy turnaround. We have conquered all odds. Ryan saved our bacon and it couldn't happen to somebody that needed it more. It's just awesome. He got his salvation and his redemption. Next on the hit list, Guiana is kind of calling our name.